parallel lines found in a differential equation will be using coefficient linear in two variables in a much more convenient way. Learn how it works here in Engineering Math 5. A shorter procedure is devoted for differential equation having parallel lines. Such cases would boil down to variable separable equations after substituting variable with the coefficients. After having the format of variable separable equation, the terms will be readily integratable. For example 1. Determine the general solution of the function, the quantity of x plus y less 1 times dx, plus the quantity of 2x plus 2y plus 1 times dy is equal to 0. Check the two terms from dx and dy, and by doing so, having similar coefficients would tell that they are parallel lines. Now substitute the variable v on the most basic coefficients, which in this case is x plus y. Take the derivative of v which is dx plus dy. If we choose to eliminate dy, we can extract it to be dv less dx. Plug these parameters into the original equation and remove groupings by distributing terms. It would make the equation longer, so the next step is to collect similar derivatives and we get the quantity of 2v plus 1 times dv plus the quantity of negative v minus 2 times dx is equal to 0. Factor out the negative signs from the terms in the second group, thus we get the following equation. Since the terms are simplified between v and x, we can transpose the term on the other end, and it would be noted that dx can stand alone and all terms with v can stay with dv. Now we can have a variable separable equation. Dx is readily integratable, but a term with variable v needs a little bit more simplification. If we use long division and divide 2v plus 1 with v plus 2, we get 2, giving 2v plus 4. Subtract the two terms to have negative 3, and this is the remainder. So taking back the equivalent term, we get dx is equal to 2dv less 3dv all over v plus 2 which is ready to be integrated. So the integral of dx is x, which is equal to the integral of 2dv, and that is 2v. The integral of 3dv all over v plus 2 will be negative 3 multiplied by the natural logarithm of v plus 2 and add c. Rearrange the terms to have the following equation. Now we are ready to revert back the substitution we did earlier with v equal to x plus y. Plug x plus y in all v's to have the next equation, and this can be simplified to x plus 2y plus c is equal to 3 times the natural logarithm of x plus y plus 2. The second example implores coefficient linear in two variables with the function the quantity of 2x plus 3y minus 1 times dx plus the quantity of 2x plus 3y plus 2 times dy is equal to 0. By checking the same coefficients used with x and y, we can readily say that the lines from the terms are parallel. So we can work with substituting v to the terms 2x plus 3y. Take the derivative which is dv is equal to 2dx plus 3dy, and if we choose to eliminate x this time, dx is taken as dv minus 3dy all upon 2. Place these substitutions into the original equation. Multiply the whole equation by 2 to remove the denominator, and distribute terms to simplify coefficients. From the long formula, collect all dv's and dy's. After the collection of similar terms, place one term on the other side to separate y from v, as the equation is observed to be variable separable equation. The next thing to consider is to simplify the term of v, and you can do this with long division. 
Another trick that can work with division of polynomials is by transforming the numerator similar to the denominator. So v minus 1 divided by v minus 7 can be made into v minus 7 plus 6 divided by the same denominator. Note that v minus 7 plus 6 is still the same as v minus 1, but then a complete division can be observed. So if we separate the numerators, we can have the following equation, where the first term can cancel similar coefficients, and the second term is actually the remainder. The function is ready for integration, which will give y is equal to v plus 6 times the natural logarithm of v minus 7 plus c. Then revert back v as 2x plus 3y, which can be simplified as 2x plus 2y plus c is equal to negative 6 times the natural logarithm of 2x plus 3y minus 7. This is the general solution for the equation.